Pat Project family, how's it going? It is almost the end of 2021, and we wanted to thank you guys for more than doubling the subscribers on this channel because you guys have been liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing this content with your friends, loved ones, homies, and all that good stuff. So thank you guys. So for these next few days, we are going to be bringing you guys some bites from some of our favorite episodes this year. This specific bite's going to be from the best back doctor in the world, Dr. Stuart McGill. Okay. And along with that, this episode is brought to you by one of our sponsors, Piedmontese Beef. Andrew, how can they get it? Yeah, absolutely. You guys got to head over to Piedmontese.com. It's P-I-E-D-M-O-N-T-E-S-E.com at checkout. Enter promo, promo code Power Project for 25% off your entire order. And if your order is $150 or more, you get free two-day shipping. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. Really hope you guys enjoy this video with Stuart McGill. You will be severely limited if you haven't trained Quadratus Lumborum. So, do you want to hear something really fun that we learned from working with uh, strongman competitors? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And and farmers walk. There was one fella. He won the super yoke. So the super yoke for the folks who don't know, it's they they get under a bar and they pick up this yoke, mm -hmm. and the yoke has several hundred pounds balanced off uh, either side, and whoever carries the yoke the furthest wins. So it is a loaded uh, carry. And uh, for the fella who won, we laid them on a strength table and uh, just on their side. And I just measured the hip abduction strength, the ability to lift their leg laterally. And they could lift 500 Newton meters. So, you know, it's around 100 Newton meters to torque up the nuts on your truck. <laughs> so five times that. It is an, an awesome abduction strength. Wow. Now, when we measured... Um, them, uh, I, I should back up just a minute. No, actually, this is all right. <laughs> so, um, when we measured quadratus lumborum, remember intramuscularly, we were the first people to measure that muscle being active, and the quadratus lumborum is either side of the spine. When you walk, in order to allow leg swing, the you know the gait biomechanists, the people who are experts in walking, they don't look above the waist as the, as as to the mechanics that are going on. Well, I'm a spine guy, so I did. Um, they would say, well, when you stand on one leg, you use the hip abductors to hold your pelvis, allow leg swing, and then hip abductors. In other words, that's how we walk. Well, there was something very wrong with that, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. Remember, our strong man had 500 newton meters of strength. So he would be under the super yoke, and then he would get leg swing and uh, use the hip abductors. But when we measured world-class yoke carries, he needed 750 Newton meters. So the demand was 750 Newton meters of strength, but he only had 500. It was impossible for him to do the carry, mm. but he did. Where did the missing strength come from? As the, if this left leg stance, hip abductors full power on, it was the quadratus lumborum that held the pelvic platform up on the other side to supply the missing strength. Mm. This was mind blowing. So there were people who would say, oh, core strength, it doesn't matter. Can you prove that core strength makes you stronger in the rest of your body? I said, yes, I, I've only published probably 100 experiments to, to prove that over 30 some odd years. And, and this is one of them. But when you get down to the things that really matter, I remember working at the hospital, a little girl in the neurology ward who had a paralyzed quadratus lumborum. It was astounding. Just to simply walk, as we had measured with, with electrodes in, in Switzerland, when you perform leg stance with your left, you use quadratus lumborum to hold up the other side, quadratus lumborum to work with the hips so she couldn't walk. She was deficit on the right side. She could have right leg stance, left leg swing, and on this side, she'd collapse. This is how you walk if you don't have quadratus lumborum. So it's a critical muscle. And when I said to you, Mark, earlier, walking is non-negotiable. You need it for frontal plane strength. Now, powerlifters, 
Power lifters are sagittal plane beasts. They lift in the sagittal plane, they push in the sagittal plane, etc. Now, some federations demand a walkout. So you rack the bar and you walk out of the cage and you lift. They get hurt, not in the lift. They get hurt in the walkout. They are frontal plane strength deficit. They can't stand on one leg. Uh, so I'm, I've gone from a little girl who can't walk because she doesn't have core control, whatever you want to call it, fundamental proximal strength, all the way through to a strong man and a power lifter. Walking is fundamental. Now let's put that on steroids. Let's increase the demand with loaded carries. Now we really get into a wonderful conversation on how unleashing of your full strength loaded carries become because they allow you to stand on one leg, perform the farmer's walk, perform the super yoke with short gliding walks, really training quadratus lumborum. So I don't care if you're a running back in the NFL, when you plant and cut and turn, you will be severely limited if you haven't trained quadratus lumborum. You won't get that through powerlifting. Mm. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear, like, comment, subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you peak content on this channel. Obviously, you guys are here. You guys have watched the whole video. So like, comment, subscribe. All right. See you later.